Hello everybody. This is Robert's Irregular Random Recordings. This is Big Daddy talking, otherwise known as Bob. I appreciate you tuning in. Hello everybody. This is Robert's Irregular Random Recordings. Big Daddy talking. As you remember at the last of the uh, end of the last episode, I was having all kinds of problems with trains backing up along both entrances to the hub, but especially on this left side of this, of this hub. So I decided it was time to do something about it. I decided to make the left half look like the right half, and I also figured, ah, let's expand the right half a little bit. Thought it was going to be fairly easy. Oh my god, what a pain! Um, so I did not record it. It was very time consuming, very frustrating, a lot of hair pulling. But this is what I ended up with. From this to this. So now each side of the hub has a staging area so that if trains are held up by something, they're only holding themselves up, not other trains. I did have to do a tunnel through here and did a little rearranging at each end. I also expanded the station. I figured if I'm going to do this, let's go ahead and do it now. So as you can see, each route has an in, or each platform main, has an in and an out track associated with it, with stops at either end so that trains can stage in this area. I have not turned this back on since I finished this. Um, I have hopefully resolved all the problems, but <laughs> I've still got some trains out here that are stopped, come to think of it. Uh, one, two, three, Four, five, I think that was it. Yeah. So let's crank it up and let's see what kind of Headaches happen. I can get down here where I can have kind of a good view. And I'm going to go double speed just so we can see what's going to happen. We're still going to have a little bit of bottleneck here as these merge together. And of course, we'll definitely have a bottleneck as trains exit, all trying to merge into the uh, the exits. But not a lot we can do about that. But hopefully the entrances will be a lot smoother now. We won't see as much, as many trains backed up, you know, one right behind the other. I guess I can turn off my colors so we can actually see the trains. So far, nobody's backing up there. We got trains coming in there. He is going to be waiting for this one. I think let's ride this one. Ah, a few little bumps there. I had to split this tunnel. I kept getting terrain alignment problems. So I had to put the tracks as two different tunnels. Don't know why that made a difference. Don't know why I had train alignment, but I did. And boom, you're at the hub. I did make the main through ones high speed 
although I have not rerouted any trains onto those. Um, right now, the through ones still tend to go through the outer edge. activity in this hub. I love it. I don't remember if this is a reverse train or not. Yep. Okay, we'll take it back out again. A lot of these lines only have one train, so this double, the entrance and exit feeds are a little bit overkill. But you never know when I'm going to add more trains, and this way I'm covered. You can see the tunnels. Oh, we got clearance. Cool. You see those two separate tunnel entrances. Still waiting? Uh oh. Oh, you know why? I did not put stop signals here. I want to rebuild these tracks. Put one there. Put one there. Oops. Should have been using electric. Oh well. He's still sitting there waiting. I have noticed that at the hub. It seems like it gives priority based on where they are physically as compared to which one got there first. Um, I've seen some trains that just sit and sit and sit while other ones get the go ahead to go. But. I could probably fix some of that by lining all these stops up in a nice neat row, but then I would lose a lot of the staging area. So I'm just going to let it go as is and see what happens. Uh oh, this doesn't look good. No, he's okay. We got three of them backed up there. Why did he get clearance? Why didn't he have to stop? Huh. I could move those forward, couldn't I? forward a little bit. There he goes. Okay, we got a backlog of the tunnel. 
I've got a couple of tunnels where I still have them as single tunnels. So this one can't advance until that one gets out of there. That one can't get out of there until this one gets out of there. This one can't go until that one goes. But I just feel that's a little more realistic since tunnels are more expensive. Uh, make them single track. I think in real life that's probably what would be more apt to happen. I uh, see this train got let loose, but this one did not. We've got another one coming up behind it. we got several trains trying to exit here. We're in pretty good shape on this end so far. He's going that way anyway. Now, is he going to have to stop? Yes. All right. So that should clear up this backlog. I could move these signals a little closer, couldn't I? That may give enough distance in between here a full train. Oh, no, I can't move them too much. Because that's where they merge. Let's see. I had it paused the whole time I was doing it. Let's see, 49 million construction costs. 30 million for other. So I spent a fair amount of money doing that, uh, redoing that hub. But hopefully things will run a little smoother. I may end up having to double track this tunnel. I tried putting in a port-to-port -port transfer on the ships so that items that came to this hub could transfer over to this hub. But the ships just never seem to pick up anything. It was kind of frustrating. I thought that a lot of this stuff would go elsewhere. see I'm getting a lot of tools, machine. I don't have any goods set up yet. And the plastic line has kind of gone stagnant. It's producing, but it's not producing what it was. Although it's starting to pick back up again. But you can come down here and sit at this hub, see a lot of activity. Putting these diagonal lines in was the biggest pain. Getting them in, getting the turns to work, getting them where they're more or less lined up, it was just amazingly difficult. This train. I should move him to one of the center ones so that... Ah, uh, he's the only train anyway. But if I moved him to one of the center ones, he'd have a longer staging area, so he wouldn't be blocking this. I also expanded this station, so now I have some empty platforms. As you can see, I got two that are throughs, three that are coming in from the other side that are turnarounds, and some other turnarounds here, a couple more throughs, 
Uh, some turnarounds. But every line now has its own platform. Why is he waiting? I had an interesting hump happen on this one. I thought I was making it level, but there's actually a little bit of a hill here, which also added to my frustration. Because, of course, turnouts, X's, and whatnot work a lot better if everything is flat. The other side I was able to get pretty much 100% flat. Oh, I got some leveling to do here. You see this one is totally flat. No no hills or anything at all. did do something at this end to alleviate some of the exit backlog. Several of the trains, well three routes, go out here and here. And initially they were on this line with everybody else, which caused a lot of backlog because a lot of these are, are big ones. So what I did do is I moved those three lines down here and gave them their own spur that goes straight out to uh, these exits. So these three don't have to wait for others and others don't have to wait for these three. Let's see. I did add some trains to credit reduce the frequency on a lot of these, although there's still some that are fairly lengthy. Still got some that are losing a lot of money, and I don't really understand why, because if you look at the uh, station for this, it has a lot of produce, a lot of products. Both of these two do, but yet they just don't seem to want to bring in the money. I got two trains, two trains. When they leave this the station, they're always full. I'm thinking what it is is I've got too many. It's too long of a route with too many stops. So I think, for example, the train's going and dropping off some here, dropping off some here, and then he's running empty the rest of the way around this loop. And ditto for the other one. Um, I guess I could send one out here and then have him double back, and one out here and have him double back. But that's not going to make a whole lot of difference because there's still... This one would be a little shorter, but this one wouldn't be that much difference in length. But they just don't want to make money. I 
could easily add another train to this farm line, but it's such a short run. And the train already so long, it tends to clog up everything. definitely have a lot of product that I can get out and I'm not seeing knock on wood not seeing any issues Up, and I plan to add some more. I'm going to say I don't have any goods being produced anyplace. the one that's dedicated to the machine and tools plant way off on the far corner of the map. And he usually goes out pretty full. In fact, he's absolutely full. plastic and not much wood. Now if he just has plain metal, he should be able to produce plenty of things. But it's like he's wanting that wood production too. He's waiting for this other train. He's not actually servicing this platform. I thought about having some of the other trains that come through here also servicing this platform and then taking some of that product and dropping it off at the various places. But I felt like that would cannibalize the one line and actually cause more headache and confusion. So I have left it just a dedicated line that goes from the hub to this factory and back to the hub. I have thought about adding this farm onto this plastic production. But I was kind of hoping that this farm would drop things off to be taken to the plastic. Let's see. That's this line. Let's see. Oh, he is getting some. And I don't 
kind of frustrated with the fact that uh, this refinery is making more fuel than it is oil. Because my hope was it would make a bunch of oil, carry it to the hub, which would then go to the plastic to produce plastic. But apparently there's more demand for fuel than there is for oil. So, I mean, it's, it's making me money, so I can't really complain. And I could force it. I could put a train on that only carried oil, or they had a certain number of cars that were oil. But I'm not really going to do anything tonight. It is kind of late. And I just wanted to finally get this hub working again and see if it had any issues. I've got a few vehicles that could be replaced. I generally do not put these on auto replace because this forces me to go look at the route see how its finances are doing, see how many vehicles it has, and see if I need to adjust the road, either due to less or more demand or due to city growth. But I think this one, well, there's a few people waiting at each place, but I don't think I'm going to add anybody to this. I'll just go ahead and replace the vehicles. This is delivery of materials. A little bit sitting there, but not much. And it's still got decent coverage. Drops it there and there. So I think other than replacing vehicles, I don't think I'm going to do anything here either. Of course, that'll go from 6 at 25 kilometers to 8 at 30. That is the one I just did, right? Yes. This one is trucks. Not really making me a lot of money. It's only got two trucks on it. Doesn't have a whole lot sitting. What's he waiting for? Oh, that's another single tunnel. So he was waiting for the uh, other train to get out of the other side. I still got good coverage. I could almost drop off a vehicle, but I'm not going to. Oh, I should be using this, shouldn't I? I didn't even notice that one. What was that other one? It looks like such a smaller truck. It looks like this should be a bigger vehicle doesn't fall on the timeline sequence, so it always, I always miss that one. The rest of my vehicles are doing okay. Like I say, I got, got some big ones that are losing me a lot of money. Then again, I got some that are making me a boatload of money. No pun intended with the boats. <laughs> Even my little inner city routes are doing pretty good. I and mean, these are just in the K area. 
So it's just these four that'll lose my money. But if I scrap them, it's going to hurt some of the other related lines that they attach to. Not much waiting. I could reduce some cars a little bit, I guess. I can see these two loop ones, line 31. What is that one? Two trains. Oh, I just added a second train on that one. I was hoping that increased frequency would encourage growth. It just doesn't seem to want to do much for me either. It's quite a bit of product there. This could be another situation where there's Just too many cities. I was carrying product to the first two or three cities and then it's running empty to, to the other ones. There are definitely some advantages to direct runs, boom, out and back, out and back. But sometimes these loop ones end up being pretty good too. I think this is going to be a short video. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it a night. I just wanted to show you this hub. It's just fun sitting here watching all the activity. Anyway, have a good night. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, remember to subscribe to me. I like being subscribed to. It's nice to be su subscribed to. It helps both you and me if you subscribe. Also remember to click like for this video. I like being liked. It's nice to be liked. Won't you like me, please? Okay, Bob, okay, that's enough. Enough begging. <laughs> anyway, come back soon. Spread the word. Thank you very much for stopping by.